we're very disappointed. Poe County Supervisor Matt McCoy is talking about the lack of cash for state and local governments in the stimulus bill Congress passed this week. That was part of the March stimulus, says COVID-19 craters revenue. The county's lost millions from things like a lack of hotel stays, less use of the Iowa Events Center, and decreased gaming revenue from Prairie Meadows, all as it faces the challenge of funding local pandemic relief, like eviction help, food pantries, and more. It just demonstrates once again, Congress is out of touch with where the real work is getting done. Des Moines wants federal help too. At a budget Q&A Tuesday though, officials say they have a plan if they don't get it. We have very conservative spending policies and we have strong reserves. Drake University professor Lance Noe says there's a reason cities and counties are looking towards D.C. Local and state government do not have the flexibility for financing that obviously the federal government has. Both county and city officials said there could be cuts mainly by delaying long-term capital infrastructure projects. Noe says that could impact everyone because they don't only strengthen infrastructure, they strengthen the economy by creating jobs. So to put a, a significant pause to infrastructure can be really damaging in the long run. McCoy says he wants Governor Reynolds to send some of Iowa's more than $1 billion in surplus and reserve cash to cities and counties, but she signaled restraint. You know, we need to be responsible about seeing how we can allocate those funds. In Des Moines, Chris Goffner, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News.